Hey guys, today I'm going to make a quick and easy bird bath with a water fountain DIY. It's incredibly easy, anyone can do it and it will impress everyone. I will also make a concrete bowl to complement the bird bath decoration, so stay tuned. For the basin, I'm going to refurbish an old sink. This sink has been sitting here collecting dirt and all kind of stuff. Its depth is perfect for bird bath and just for the same very reason I removed it from my bathroom. It was too shallow. Now it's gonna be perfect. You may not have a sink like this laying around in your yard, but you can use something else, uh, anything that is shallow, like some bowl or a bin, anything that is shallow, not too deep. Like mine, this one is probably around three inches. I like the fact that it has a drain hole, so that will make the cleaning easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the sink, scrape off the silicone. I found the drain cover, this will be very useful. I need to test it though if it's leaking or not. Hopefully not, then I don't have to put any glue or silicone or anything like that. I'll be using this planter as a base. It has the similar shape with sink and they both are black. They will nicely complement each other, I think. Please don't forget to like the video and feel free to leave a comment about what you think. Testing the drain, doesn't seem like it's leaking. Now here is the real deal. This is our water fountain. And it's just a disc, there is no electricity, no batteries. Works with solar power. And it's amazing, I thought this was such a genius idea. And there you go. You just drop it in the water and you got a water fountain. Isn't it amazing? It came in this box. It was very cheap. I think somewhere around $10. And it has some couple of attachments, different n nozzles and some uh, pieces to secure it to stay in place. Just test out the different nozzles. See which water spray you like. They have different type of uh, sprays uh, the effects they give you so it's a cheap and easy and fast quick way to bring some water feature into your garden I thought this was very smart but the only problem is it needs direct sunlight at least mine is this is the cheap version so expensive versions has some storage you can you know keep it in the Sun and then when it's shady it still works but this one specifically it needs direct sunlight I am in the shade right now, that's why it's on and off. So I'm going to put some nice pebbles, black pebbles. So the birds can land on it and also it looks nice. And I'm not going to put the stabili stabilizer. Instead, I have the pebbles to stabilize it in the middle. It needs to stay in the middle, otherwise it sprays it out and runs out of water and you don't want to do that. Now I have the full sun here and you, you can see it gets really, really high. And if your bowl is too small or it gets it's close to the edge, you can just run out of water very quickly. So you try to keep it in the middle and keep it filled with water. I just thought a concrete bowl would be nice next to it. So I decided to make one. I actually have never done it. This is my first time. I'm experimenting i found this old bowl it's a flat bowl i found it in the garage 
so I'm going to make a hole and then fill it up with the concrete probably not the right type of a ball for this purpose it's definitely very hard to cut I'm struggling here finally made some progress this is going to be my tool to fill up the bowl I'm going to make a mixture with cement and water My mixture is a little bit too watery. Let's hope it cures, but it's definitely easier to pour in. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours. Yes, it worked. It's hard and perfect. Finally, it's out from its mold. Here is my concrete bowl. Sad looking concrete bowl. This was a spontaneous project. I just used whatever I had as a mold for the next concrete project. Lesson learned. But it does look good on the ground. You can't really tell. I think it needs a friend. I should make a second bowl next to it. Probably larger.